huyu mimi wangu kipindi hicho sasa ni mtu ambaye nilikuwa simfahamu yani unknown yeye akawa naye ana, anasoma mchezo kwamba mwanamke wake yuko na mwanaume mwingine kwa hiyo yeye naye akawa yupo naye yupo yupo tu ana landa landa hapo hapo ndipo tulipokutana kwa sababu alikuja akaniomba mkono nicheze naye mziki huku akiwa hajui kama mimi ndio nimekuja na yule mwanaume anaye hang out na ex wake Kudanga is a woman who is going to a man for money Danga is an old actually Danga here is an old man who is fi well financial ah, okay, yeah. supporting a, uh, a, a sugar, girlfriend sugar, yeah, dad. sugar dad yeah sugar dad, dad. Yeah, I'm not the sugar dad <laughs> <laughs> Jicho la uswazi usisahau kusubscribe na kubonyeza alama ya kengele asante ya karibuni sana uh, waandishi wa habari uh, leo nimeamua kuwaita hapa kwa sababu ya kuongelea project zangu mbalimbali mbali, ambazo nilizianzisha kwa muda lakini sasa ndo zimekaa sawa uh, labda nianze kwa kujitambulisha mimi naitwa Aziza Mwakarukwa Rina na huyu hapa pembeni yangu hapa ni mume wangu Kipenzi. Ya lakini watu wengi wananifahamu kama Azi Superstar kupitia account yangu ya Instagram. Ya uh, mimi niko hapa kwa ajili ya project mbili tatu. Uh, nikianza na ya kwanza mimi ninafanya mziki wa Bongo Flavor ambao uh, hivi karibuni nimeachia ngoma yangu mpya ambao nimeimba na msanii mkongwe anaitwa Dark Master kutoka Chemba Squad nyimbo inaitwa wewe ambapo iko YouTube. Hii ni nyimbo yangu ya pili tangu nimeanza mziki ambapo nyimbo yangu ya kwanza ilikuwa inaitwa Kamata na yenyewe pia iko YouTube na inapigwa kwenye channel mbalimbali hapa nchini. Ya project yangu ya pili ni uh, ninaigiza. Mimi ni mwigizaji niko kwenye kikundi kinaitwa Bongo Hood Speeches ambapo movie zetu sisi tunaziwekaga YouTube peke yake. Ya uh, mwigizaji mwanamuziki na pia nina project ya Ages Just a Number. Hii project nilianzisha kutokana na kitu ambacho kinanihusu mimi mwenyewe, yani kwenye uhalisia wa maisha yangu. Mimi nimeolewa na mwanaume ambaye amenipita umri mkubwa sana. Kwa hivyo nilikuwa na kuwa criticized na watu kwamba umefata pesa kwa mwanaume, hakuna mapenzi ya kweli hapo, uwezi ukampenda mtu ambaye analingana na babu yako. Uh, lakini kwa kifupi ni kwamba huyu mwanaume hapa alingani na babu yangu kwa sababu yangu mimi ni mzee zaidi ya, ya mume wangu. Huyu hapa analingana na baba yangu, baba yangu mzazi analingana kwa sababu wote wamezaliwa mwaka mmoja. Ya na amenipita miaka ya? Mwaka gani? Amezaliwa mwaka 1953. Ya. Kwa sasa hivi ana miaka 60 na mwaka huu anatimiza 68. Mwezi wa 11. 68 na nane. kama baba yangu. Lakini na mimi na miaka 36. Kwa hivyo sio mdogo kama vile watu wanavyoniona labda kutokana na umbo langu watu wanafikia na miaka 20 kumbe mimi mwenyewe pia na miaka 36 na I'm going to my 40s. Hivyo ya yeah. kwa hiyo ya yeah. ndio maana nimeamua niwaite hapa ili kuwaelezea. Unadhani kwa nini issue ya umbo imekuwa ni issue kubwa sana kwa watu wanaona 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 wana, 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 kwa jinsi ya tofauti. Okay watu wanaichukulia kwa jicho la tofauti kwa sababu Uh, mahusiano mengi sana ya watu ambao wamepishana na umri uoga haya ha, mapenzi ya kweli yanakuwa hayapo asilimia tisini watu wanakuwa hawana mapenzi ya kweli kwa sababu kwanza ya kuona aibu mtu akishaona aibu hawezi kutoka na mpenzi wake sehemu yote mpenzi wake anamwacha nyumbani anatoka peke yake na akitoka peke yake tayari kwa atakutana na watu sasa wa umri wake mwisho wa siku inaisha kufanya kuchiti sasa ukesha chiti tayari unaonekana wewe uliyokuepo naye ndani kuja mpenda kwa dhati kwa sababu tu ya umri wake. Lakini ukiwa unajiachia naye unatoka naye kila sehemu basi mapenzi yanaendelea kama hivyo. Mtu anaona kumbe huyu yuko huru na huyu mtu kwamba hawaigizi. Ya. Yeah. Na labda wewe umlikutanaje sasa na 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 kwa mkafikia kwa Okay, uh, ilikuwa ni mwaka 2012 uh, ilikuwa kwenye birthday party ya ex wake ex wa mume wangu alikuwa na birthday party uh, na mimi nilialikwa pale na rafiki yangu ambaye kumbe huyo rafiki yangu alikuwa akimdate ex wa mume wangu rafiki yangu wa kiume 
Kwa hiyo alinialika mimi kwenye birthday na alikuwa ananialika kama vile ananitaka ni ilikuwa ni kideti na mimi natolewa out ya kwenda kwenye birthday ya rafiki yake. Kwa hivyo mimi katika kwenda out kwenye birthday yule mwanume ambaye nilikuwa nimeenda naye pale akawa yuko busy na nani? Na ex wa mume wangu. Umeona hapo eh? Kwa hiyo alipokuwa yuko busy 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 nini? Mimi nikawa niko peke yangu sasa kwa sababu pale mwenyeji wangu ni yule mwanaume ambaye amenipeleka pale. Ona mimi nikawa mpole nikiangalia ndo kideti cha cha, cha siku ya kwanza nimetolewa sijui hili wala lile sehemu naenda simjui birthday girl simfahamu simfahamu mwanaume birthday girl mimi nipo nipo tu na wala sifahamu waliko wengine kwa mimi nikaa mpole huyu mimi wangu kipindi hicho sasa ni mtu ambaye nilikuwa simfahamu yani unknown yeye akawa naye anasoma mchezo kwamba mwanamke wake yuko na mwanaume mwingine kwa hiyo yeye naye akawa yupo naye yupo yupo tu analanda randa hapo hapo ndipo tulipokutana kwa sababu alikuja akaniomba mkono nicheze naye mziki huku akiwa hajui kama mimi ndio nimekuja na yule mwanaume anaye hang out na ex wake. Kwa hiyo nikacheza mziki nikiwa kama single girl tena na, na sibili nini. Nikacheza mziki tukacheza mziki sana tu. At that moment kwamba tulicheza kwa masaa matatu sio sahau mfululizo. Tunacheza tunaongea tunacheza tunaongea. Then ex wake na yule mwanaume wakawa wamepotea kwa muda. Muda huo wote. Tukacheza tukacheza kwa bachana namba za simu kaishia pale yule mwanamke akarudi alivorudi akakuta kwamba ah mwanaume wake yuko busy na mimi kwa hiyo akamvuta mkono kwamba waondoke akaona sasa hapa sija kanyakuliwa akavuta mkono wakaondoka naye hapo nilipoipoishia then kwa sababu mwanaume alikuwa na namba yangu ya simu siku ya pili ya tatu akanitafuta akaomba kukutana na mimi ndio uhusiano wetu ulipoanzia hapo so Hi. Hi. You can tell us uh, you meet with uh, Aziza in the creative relationship and now they you are married. From 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 the very beginning of. Yeah. Of, yeah. 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 Well, it's very simple. I, at this time 2011 I was living in Oman, Sultan Oman, and I was invited by a friend to come here to organize a birthday party. It was on the 29th of March 2012. I came here, organized them actually paid the birthday party <laughs> and I met Aziza first time and we have been uh, I asked her for a dance and then we I think we have been dancing between two and three hours just together oh, this is totally <laughs> I was actually I have been falling in love immediately that was the reason and then I forgot the other friend and was concentrating on her yeah so which 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 special from Aziza Special. Spe special. Special of her. Oh, there is many things. There's first of all the shape, the figure. Because I like slim women. Okay? This is the first thing. Second is her intelligence. You know, she is very smart, she's a clever woman. And I like clever and smart. Like people talking like this, you know. And when we met first time, she did not insist in me just like I want to have you or something like this. I had to fight for her at the beginning. This is what I like. So nowadays, age is an issue on social media. People discuss about the age difference. Yeah. Uh, have we seen age difference between you and the other? Of course, yeah. yeah. But I, I feel like I feel fit like an Adidas shoe, and she has got the same age for me, the right age for me. That's it. Because I'm not old. I do not feel old. I might be, for other people, looking old, but my mind is young, and this is more important than the rest. And my, my favorite saying is always to young people, you should learn what I already forgot. It's very important. Did you have a family? I used to have a family, but long time ago. I'm divorced already long time ago. My son, my older son is... Uh, 40 years old and my daughter is 38 years old, but this is long, long away. So, do you have any plan to, to get a birthday? Of course, we are still working on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, plan, Aziza, who's your connectivity, all is just a number? Uh, yeah, plan, yeah, age is just a number. Actually, I'm <coughs> to... Uh, tumeshafanya sasa event zimeshakuwa nne tumefanya tulianza Dar es Salaam ya kwanza ya pili tukaenda Arusha ya tatu tuka rudi Dar es Salaam ambayo ilifanyika December 
ya nne ndio tumefanya uh, wiki iliyopita Zanzibar uh, na tuna sasa tumerudi Sam tuna plan ya kufanya ya tano ya sita ya saba mpaka muendelezo yani mpaka mwisho wa maisha yetu ili kuendelea kuhamasisha watu na kuambia watu wachukulie hichi ni kitu cha kawaida yani tunawa influence watu kwa sababu wakati tunaanzisha hichi kitu sikutegemea yani sikutarajia nilifanya tu kama najaribu lakini nikaona mwitikio ni mkubwa sana kuna watu wako wengi sana wako katika mahusiano ya age gap lakini walikuwa wanashindwa kuji expose yani walikuwa wanajificha kwa kuona aibu kuona jamii itanchukuliaje na mwisho wa siku watu wa hivyo wanaacha mahusiano na wale watu waliopishana umri wanakwenda kwa vijana wenzao mwisho wa siku anaishia kuumia kama hivyo yani kutendwa e, kwa kijana anakuwa bado hajamaliza mambo mambo ni mengi yani anakuwa hajamaliza ujana sasa anajikuta anateseka kwa sababu tu ya kumkataa yule mtu ambaye alimpenda kwa dhati kwa sababu aliangalia umri wake kwa hauruhusi kwa yeye kuwa naye ndio hivyo kwa sisi tunaendelea kuhamasisha na tutaenda mikoa mingi zaidi kuna Dodoma kuna Mwanza kuna Mbeya na mikoa mingineyo ambapo tutaangalia wingi wa watu jinsi wanavyotuita ndipo tunaenda huko yeah. tumsikia asunde shida watoto ya kwa hiyo nanyi na plans ya yeah. mimi binafsi naye mtoto wangu ambaye nilikuwa naye kabla ya mume wangu niko na mtoto wangu ambaye nilizana na mtanzania ya yeah, ambaye alikataa mtoto wake kwa hivyo mume wangu amemwadapt wa mtoto ya yeah, kwa amekuwa mtoto wake sasa na pia tuna plani za kupata watoto wengine mimi na mume wangu inshallah sure. sure. make it was nani Tunatarajia kupata watoto mimi na mume wangu. Hapo hapo tu. Eh. Ah, na pia tunatarajia kupata watoto wengine mimi na mume wangu. Okay. Yeah. Date na mtu mwingine ambaye anaona damu. Mhm. Labda hiyo hiyo ikoje. Ya kutokana na mtazamo unajua kwa sababu watu yani watu wanaashumu kwamba watu wenye umri mkubwa wamesha invest vya kutosha kwa hivyo wako more wealthier than vijana sawa yani wana uwezo ki financially zaidi ya vijana kwa sababu wamesha tumia muda mwingi wamefanya kazi sana wamesha invest yani wame save sana kwa hiyo obviously mtu mzima asilimia kubwa japo wapo wa, wazee ambao hawana kitu lakini nikiwa namaanisha kwamba sisi tunachukuliwa kwamba tunadanga kwa sababu ya watu tunao toka nao wameshajiwekezea vya kutosha ndio maana tunaonekana kuwa tunadanga. Na pia sikatai wapo wadangaji ambao wanawachukulia watu wazima kwa ajili tu ya matatizo yao ya kifedha, alafu wanakuwa wanarudi kwa vijana kwa ajili ya mapenzi. Hiyo pia ipo. Lakini kwa upande wangu iko tofauti na ndio maana nimekuja na hichi cha age is number. Kuiweka hii kitu clear kwamba vitu viko tofauti. Sasa pia unakuta kuna mwanamke mkubwa anampenda kijana mdogo alikuwa anaonekana sugar mami, si ndio? E, lakini kumbe mapenzi yake pia yanatokea na na mifano alisi pia tunala hata hapa nchini kwetu. Yeah. Wow. Do you know meaning of danga au kudanga? Danga au kudanga? Kudanga? No. Kudanga is a woman who is going to a man for money. Ah, yeah, young women. Aziza 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 aziza. aziza. Danga is an old actually danga here is an old man who is Fi well financial ah, okay, yeah. supporting uh, uh, a sugar, sugar, yeah. dad. sugar dad yeah sugar dad, dad. Yeah. i'm not a sugar daddy <laughs> <laughs> it was never yeah? i was never a sugar daddy and i'm not a sugar daddy because sugar daddies they do not marry they just want to have young women yeah. and i'm not interested in young women women so far i'm interested in this wife and in our daughter that it would i'm interested in my life I want to have a family and my I've got my family. Tumefunga ndoa mwaka 2019. Yeah. 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 October. Yeah. kwa sasa hivi anaendelea kuishi hapa Tanzania au pia ala safari zake yani yeye kwa sasa yuko na jambo gani hapa Tanzania yupo tu kwa sababu ya wewe au ana shughuli zake zingine za kila siku okay mimi wangu actually ni mstaafu 
Tumstaafu kwa hiyo tupo tu tunaishi. Na yuko hapa Tanzania aliamua kukaa Tanzania baada ya mimi kuchagua kwamba nataka niishi nyumbani. Sikutaka kwenda kuishi Ulaya. Yeah, kwa hiyo tuko hapa. Anaishi hapa ananisaidia project zangu za hapa na pale katika kunishauri hivyo. Yeah, na kunisaidia pia kifinancially. Yeah. Anatokea Ulaya katika nchi gani? Austria. Europe. Europe, yeah. Not Australia. <laughs> no kangaroos. <laughs> Chola uswazi, usisahau kusubscribe na kubonyeza alama ya kengele. Asante.